Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the hit podcast show, of course the Grizzly Talk Podcast, and today, you're hearing the sights and sounds here, ladies and gentlemen, we are here for the SBA Expo, uh, this is the one hour spectacular with your host Kennedy Patterson, now I am in line, and I'm seeing a whole bunch of students there, uh, of course this is the Student Business, of course School of Business Expo, they do this almost every year. And this is the first time that, of course, we get to be here for the Grizzly Talk podcast. And there's a lot of students that are lined up for this grand event. Um, I'm so stoked to be on this, uh, of course, on the podcast here. But uh, a lot of students are here for this event. You guys know how we do it on our one-hour spectacular. We like to interview all of the tents that's going around for here. Let me give you kind of a kind of a, a scale about this expo while we wait here in line here. Of course, this expo is a big, big opportunity for sure for the School of Business. The School of Business students like myself. And uh, as we wait here in line, this event, it happens every year. And I'm so proud to be on this panel here to do a one-hour kind of spectacular here. Uh, it is live for the Student Center, Building E. Uh, I actually just left uh, class before this for fellow Grizzlies. And, you know, every professor was talking about this all day today. And it really is a oper- oper- great opportunity for that. You're having the School of Business professors that's going to be attending this event. Uh, my econ professor, shout out to Dr. Wesker. She is excited to see, of course, Grizzly Talk podcast for this podcast. And we just can't wait to get in here. We really cannot wait to get in here. Uh, the one hour spectacular for this grand event. Now, as we wait in line, you can hear the sights and sounds for a lot of students here. And you have a lot of students that are lined up for this grand event. Um, so I'm so stoked to have the privilege to come back for this, for this one hour spectacular. <laughs> and let me know what you guys think, of course. Uh, the Grizzly fans, Grizzly family, GGC community. What do you guys think of the One Hour Spectacular? I think this is actually the second. No, well, actually, no. I lied. The third Spectacular special that we're doing. The first ever Spectacular was Grizzly Fest. That was back in October. And then it led up to, of course, the student involvement fair. We did a One Hour Spectacular there. That fair was really amazing. You guys can go back and listen to that on Spotify, Pandora, iTunes, iHeartRadio, Desert, Anchor FM, Swanky 93.3 radio station for the one hour spectacular. For that, that event was very, very amazing. So I, I'm excited to see what comes next for the SBA Expo. And before we go inside, uh, we're still in line. We're almost there. A lot of students are partaking in this event, and it really is amazing. Uh, The line was stacked up towards the door. That's how big this event is for a lot of uh, School of Business students to come out and see this grand event and see professors and see uh, culture of business. Um, And this is one event that I'm glad that I'm partaking because me being a School of Business student and it uh, looks like they're having a uh, kind of a sign in they started the the tablets those are pretty cool too you know that's an easy quickie uh, quicker way to get inside the grand event But like I mentioned before, this is an event you just don't want to miss. Um, I, again, I am proud to be a part of this. If you wouldn't mind. Sorry. Uh, uh, just 900. 900? Yeah. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we're doing my student ID number for... There we go. Thank you. So we had to do, of course, a student ID number to get inside the building. Uh, this event is taking place in the Elvis Center. This is a great, great venue. They have many great events in this building, so it's very iconic. And I do see at the beginning of the table there, we do have some tables and some raffles. That's going to be exciting to partake in that raffle. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this is the SBA Expo One Hour Spectacular, the Grizzly Talk Podcast with your host, Kennedy Patterson, welcoming in the GGC students for this grand event. There's a, quite a few uh, professors that are here. Uh, the Dean of uh, School of Business is here as well. Maybe, hopefully, I can get a word with him on the podcast. It's always an honor and privilege to get someone on the podcast, of Grizzly Talk Podcast here at GGC. I'm seeing some very familiar professors that's coming out to this event. And I do see at the beginning, at the table there, they have a raffle. You got a good friend of mine, shout out to Akersha. She is part of the International Student Association. Uh, maybe I can get a word with her a little bit later. I see that she's busy, so. Then in front, I do have, I do see Ben Hines. He is also part of the student business. And he's actually the contact that I reached out. I reached out to him and you know, he allowed me to uh, do a podcast. It's a very, very exciting time. Of course, you got Rod Riley, our GGC photography that's here in the building. Hey, Rod. He's here to take some pictures for sure. So again, we're live here. Well, not really live. We're pre-recording. The large venue interaction interactive space. That's the Elvis Center. Two to three fifteen, y'all. And students are eager to get in this building. The amount of students that are a part of this grand event it really is amazing. A lot of school of business students. And if you're not a school of business student, you might want to check out this event and check out the uh, SBA in general. For this grand, grand event. Believe it or not, I was, you know, I wasn't always a school of business student when I first started. I was, you know, an undeclared major at first, but then I got into the school of business and really, really amazing. Yes, we did. Exciting time for sure. School of business. And I am eager to go in here. I know this intro has been kind of long for the podcast side, but, you know, long lines. We have to wait, you know. Yes, indeed. School of Business. I see that they have some food in there too. I did see some chocolate chip cookies that's in there. That's exciting. I'm going to check that out later. Ladies and gentlemen, they have the raffle here. Give me one moment, GGC family.
Hey, can it, could you do me a favor? <laughs> I'm sorry. Is this Kennedy? Hey, sir, how are you? All right, we got our podcast here. Yes, sir, we're on, we're yep, on. We got WGGC before somebody else takes it. Hey. Will do, will do. Thank you so much. Did you check in? Uh, yes, I did. It's for you. There's another one. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, you're fine, you're fine. Thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, we are in the building. This is the School of Business SBA Expo, Expo January 23rd to, for career advice. This is a great department to go to. And I'm going to see if I can get a word on this one hour spectacular. We're going to try to see if we can get a word here for sure. A lot of students are here at this event. It really is amazing, to say the least. Uh-huh. School of Business, I really love it. I really like this area, I really love it. And I want to give a shout out real quick to the Career Development Advising uh, Center. They allowed us to use their room for quite a few podcasting before. So I, I appreciate that uh, for sure. Hey, how are you? Good, I think we met before. Uh, my name's Kennedy, uh, Grizzly Talk Podcast. We're doing, we're not live, but we're filming, recording a one hour spectacular of SBA Expo. I want to see if I can get an interview if I can. If not, that's perfectly fine. Okay. So I'll just ask very simple questions. There are going to be hard questions about the atmosphere for SBA. Uh, just kind of to help market career development as well. It's kind of a marketing tool, really. It's not. So you already started if I, if I first ever read some of my words? Yeah, yeah. It okay. was recorded and I can edit for sure. No worries. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. So we're here with the Associate Director, Whitney Smith, Career and Development Advising Center for the One Hour Spectacular of SBA. Uh, Ms. Smith, let me tell us, what's, what's the environment like for today for the expo? It's very lively. Um, we have a lot of students um, that are majoring in business administration um, and either they know what they want to concentrate in or they're still trying to figure it out. So we are basically here providing them information to help them develop a plan to decide or more, more information on um, what they've already chosen. Okay, absolutely. And we really do appreciate, uh, GTB, we really appreciate you guys because you know, GTB, you allowed us to use your rooms before to do podcasts. And so again, we want to say thank you for that. Um, it seems like, you know, every year you guys do this, and this is our first year for podcasting this whole event, and I do see a lot of deans and professors. How excited do you think they were with planning this whole event? I think they were very excited. Um, they love to get the meet, to meet their students um, outside of the classroom as well. And then the students that haven't met them yet, they get to see what type of professors are going to be taking and get to meet them in person and develop a relationship with them. Absolutely. Now, if, if I give you a little quote, uh, I want to see if you can agree. SBA Expo 2020 looks like the biggest expo of all time. Do, do you agree? Do you disagree? Um, in regards to the SBA Expo alone, um, it's always it's always pretty busy. Um, we always see a lot of attendees here. Um, so far, I haven't seen as many as early as it is. We're just having started. So I would yes. say right now, we have a lot more than I've seen at the very beginning. That's pretty. And as I, I had to sign in, of course, big, long line. I was yes. waiting. I gave the people a very long intro. And I was like, hold on. Just wait a minute. We're in line. We're getting in here. I thank you, Ms. Smith, for Absolutely. the interview. All right. Best of luck. That was Career and Advising Center, of course. Always a, a welcome, welcome, fresh uh, face with Ms. Smith. She's allowed us to do. She allowed us to do many, many uh, podcasting here. So the next table is the AEC, the Academic Enhancement Center. Try to see if I can get a few words. If not, that's perfectly fine. I know a lot of people are microphone shy for short. We're 14 minutes in for this one hour spectacular. You guys are live with us here. My name's Kennedy Patterson, Grizzly Talk Podcast. For sure.
Hi, sir. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. My name is Kennedy Patterson. I'm the host for our TGC podcast. Wow, yeah. That's a podcast. Absolutely. Right? We're, we're not live. We're all pre-recorded. Uh, we're doing a SBA Expo One Hour Spectacular, a one hour podcast. Going around every ten to try to get an interview. I want to see if I can interview you, sir, if that's possible. If yeah. not, that's perfectly fine. All righty. So we're here with the Academic and Hasman Center. Uh, many, many students know of you guys. You guys helped us students out a lot when it comes to each semester. Uh, we have Mr. David Vernon here. Tell me, what's the environment like for today's expo? Uh, it's actually very lively. I'm uh, excited about the turnout, uh, especially for a spring semester. There's uh, more people that I can count. So, good turnout. Absolutely. Now, this year, you're seeing a lot of professors, and I'm seeing a lot of professors that I've already took before. What do you think their their excitement was like when setting up this expo? What do you think they were most excited about? Uh, honestly, I think about getting out to see the students. I've worked with a lot of the professors, either taking them as a class when I was a student, and as an alumni, I worked with them afterward, and I know that they have a passion for the students, here, uh -huh. and uh, they actually look forward to coming out and get the meet and meet them and uh, talk to them. Absolutely. So, Mr. Uh, Durden, I'm going to throw out a little kind of a little quote. I'm going to see if you can agree or disagree or you might think different. SBA Expo 2020 has, is the biggest ever in TGC history. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Uh, this is the third I've been to and it's by far the biggest. The biggest? So I, I think it's fair to say right now. I heard they're still lined up outside waiting to get in. So. Yes. When I was doing the intro for this uh, podcast, when I was still in line, I gave the folks a long intro because I was still in line mm -hmm. waiting to get in. Thank you so much, Mr. Durden, for coming on this podcast for sure, sir. Uh, Academic Enhancement Center, we thank you guys for what, for what you guys do. It's our pleasure. All right, thank you. So, Academic Enhancement Center, we got them on podcast. I'm going to try to see if I can get more. So, we have the Academic Advisors. They may not, well, actually, I can ask because I do have Miss Jan. So I do see Miss Jan. She's actually my advisor. She's getting me through the school. We have the deans for sure. How are you? Good, good. How are you? So again, the academic advisors, of course, they are amazing. So are kind of, yeah. I just wanted to get to see if I can get a quick interview. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, sorry about that. For sure. It's a separate Hello, how are you? Good. My name is Kennedy Patterson. I'm the host for our GGC podcast here on campus. Okay. We're filming. We're not live. We're filming a one-hour spectacular for, of course, the event. I want to see if I can interview you or the whole team. I do know Miss Jan. She's actually my advisor too. But I want to get all three of you guys in there, if that's possible. Hi, Miss Jan. How are you? We don't like to be on camera, but you your advisor. Oh, we're, yeah. We're not on camera. It's all audio. There's no cameras. Podcast. All right. Yeah, Jan got it. Thank you so much, Miss Jan. So we're here, of course, the academic advisors. I'm in front of Miss Jan. She helped me out throughout my whole college experience. Um, one year left for me to go, and she's been been there on the way to help me guide me to where I need to be. Miss Jan, how are you? Great. Good. Great. Good. So, what's the environment like here for the SBA Expo? What do you, what's what's the vibe like here today? So I'm, I'm going to kind of close something out to you, of course. It's a little quote. I want to see if you agree or disagree. SBA Expo 2020, the biggest that's ever been formed here at GTC. Do you agree or disagree? It's the biggest. It's the biggest? Now next year, maybe the biggest. Maybe the biggest in 2021? All righty. Thank you so much, Ms. Chan. Of course, academic advisors, they're there to help us out and get us on the way to our degree. For sure. Oh, sorry. So we move on. They even got a supply chain management concentration. 
Um, they have a table of ID. I'm not too sure what ID stands for. I think maybe international business, maybe? I do see two professors I've had, Dr. Pepis, Mrs. Pepis, and then you have Dr. Griffith. For sure. Let's see if I can get a word with either one of the two professors I've had before. For international business. And then next to that you have finance. Hey Dr. Pepis, how are you? Good, good. Good to see you. So I am in charge of our podcast we have here on campus. So we're doing a one hour spectacular. I want to see if I can interview, uh, of course, professors I've had before. I know you. Don't yes. What I have you? We had a global business. Yeah. It was spring of 2000, I want to say 18 maybe. Because it hadn't been like 17. Been yeah, long. it would have been too long. Yeah. Maybe 18. 18. And about the queso dip when we had the... Um, the party? party. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do. Vulture Day. Vulture Day, yes. So uh, we're doing a podcast, One Hour Spectacular. We're not live, we're just recording about the whole event. I want to see if I can interview you. Just three questions I ask. It's not really hard questions, really. Well, <laughs> so I'm here with Dr. Uh, Griffin and Dr. Peppers, two professors I've had before. Um, what's the environment like for the expo here today, this year? I think it's really exciting. There are a lot of kids, there are a lot of people who are interested in uh, different uh, concentrations, different programs, and uh, besides the food, <laughs> so, yeah. so I think it's really, really a good thing. Cool. Well, I would agree. I, I think it's vibrant. Uh, you can tell there's an excitement in the air. People are coming in. They're exploring. I think people feel at ease. They're learning how to network. They're learning about possibilities. So I, I would say it's uh, it's a good event. I've been involved with a couple of uh, previous events like this, and they're always fun. They're always exciting, and so I, I'm happy to be here again. So, Dr. Griffin, of course, it's good to see all the professors Absolutely. that I've had before. It's like, wait, I had you. I had you. It's always deja vu. Yeah, deja you know. vu, right, you know, going right. back. Um, so, what's the what was the anticipation like for the professors to get prepared for this event to see fellow students? What were your mindset like setting up for the expo? I don't know. We're sort of prepared for this kind of thing all the time. I mean, because every time we talk to a student, we talk about possibilities. We talk about uh, your degree progression. We talk about what you want to do with your life. What are the options in, in terms of your your school? Can you do uh, something else besides your classes? Like, can you join a club? Uh, can you do an internship? Can you do studies abroad? What other possibilities are there for you that will fill in your resume and make you stand out apart from other people who are going to be going after the same jobs that you're going to be going Right, after. right. Well, you know, as you said, I feel like we as professors, we're always touting these things in class. Now, in terms of the logistics and the setup, goodness knows how many hours went into the actual organization of this that you know, we haven't been privy to we as professors. But you know, I simply just you know, walked in, started talking, and you know, started hobnobbing, giving out business cards. But a lot of work goes into the organization of this event. But you know, we as as professors, we're lucky in the sense that we just sort of fall in, get a plate of food, start talking, you know, and, and again, just sort of emphasize maybe in another environment in a different sort of environment, different setting, the important things that maybe they should be doing. A lot of these students are about to graduate or have graduated. I've already spoken with a couple that graduated in the last year or two, and you know, they're alumni now, and they're excited about that, to be able to come back and to be able to share things. So I think to, to be a part of it again is, is something that we always look forward to. So uh, it, it's something, you know, we do a couple times a year. Actually, and I, oh, my hat wow. goes off to the SBA office. Right, who, who they do an amazing job. They really do work. They really do. They come say, "Hey, can we get a podcast of this? Can That's we do this? Can we do right. this?" Like, yeah, I'll put it on the schedule. <laughs> Last question. Uh, this is kind of a. I'm gonna throw kind of a statement out there. I want to okay. see if you two could agree, disagree. Okay. SBA Expo 2020, the biggest event of L Expo. Do you agree? Disagree? Do you think different? 
was high grade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, 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 I think it's a great thing. I think all of the things that are put out by the school of business mm -hmm. in conjunction with either the career development or the professors or other other uh, organizations or departments on campus is a good thing. It's a good thing for students to come to the I would agree too. <laughs> to, to have something like this, uh, you know, when, when, I walk, when I walked in at two o'clock, there was a line, a huge line. I was still in line, <laughs> and I thought, oh my gracious, I had never seen a line like that to get into like, some sort of SBA event during the middle of the day on, on a, you know, on a Thursday. So I was pleasantly surprised. That's something right off the bat. I, I didn't expect. And I thought, oh my goodness, this is bigger than maybe what. I had remembered or what I was expecting. I've been involved in a couple of these. Uh, you know, we tend to have a couple every year, and I try to come to at least one or two. And uh, so they're always festive, but it seems like this seems particularly well laid out and well thought out with different tables, and you know, we have clubs, we have majors represented. So this this one in particular has pleasantly surprised me in terms of being well laid out and, and well thought out and well attended. Right. Absolutely. It looks a phenomenal. Have you taken a look at our video? Oh, I have not. There's a video, ladies and gentlemen, of Georgia Gwinnett College here. Oh, wow. It was put together over the years of uh -huh. people who went on studies abroad okay. and the uh, testimonials, the quotes, okay. are actual quotes that uh, they sent either in an email or wow. on student valuations or, or whatever. Right. It, it's for real. Oh, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, this video is really, really amazing, too. That, now, was that, this the we last went, trip? We went to Omega, okay. and at Omega Watches, they had the actual watch that went wow. on the moon, <laughs> and that was it. Wow. Wow. And this was the 2019 trip, right? No, it, it's a uh, composite. Just a composite. Club. Okay. Wow, these are some good pictures, too. Very creative photos, too. The students always wow. seem to have a good time. That, that's yes. the feedback that I've always gotten from students that have either done it before or are about to do it. Uh, they, it no matter what, no matter who comes, uh -huh. by the end of the trip, we're all a family. family. Oh, I love that. I really do. Wow, they study bras in Europe, too. And they are out of Switzerland, but then take side trips, if, I, right. if I'm correct, right? They go to Belgium, France, and Switzerland. Okay. Switzerland. Good, good places to go, shoot. Good video, good video. Thank you so much, Dr. Pepys and Dr. Griffiths. Thank you. Tell me your name again. Kennedy. Kennedy. That's Kennedy. Right. That's right. <laughs> yes, That's sir. Right. Yes, sir. Because I and I remember you. Right. Plain as day, but uh, I, I mean that was a year. Yeah, like, yeah well, I understand. Over a year ago. Well, Kenny, I, I wanted to give you my card. You yeah, can absolutely. Stick it in your pocket if you yes. need it. If you ever want to reach out to me, but yes. uh, but yeah. anyway, I appreciate you. Thank you. Me. Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna try to see if I can get with um, maybe Ben Hines to see if we can email the podcast to every school of business professor so they can hear it so that's one thing i gotta get in contact with them like hey here's podcast yeah, shout it out yeah, to school yeah. of business they should listen to it so thank you so much okay kenny no, take no. care <laughs> so we're here um dr peppis and dr griffin they are amazing for sure so we have the uh, next table next to them is finance i am going to try to see if i can get a word within their finance. Uh, one class that I know very well. Um, and then, uh, let's see, we have accounting. And then the next table. Hey, Jason, what's going on? Good. Yeah, I definitely want to get econ because I do see a professor that I'm taking currently and I want to see if I can get a good word with him. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, like Dr. Pepper said, mentioned it, we are we are all a family at the end of the day, and it, it really is amazing to see the school of business students to come around and uh, do their thing. And I mean, this year, I, I, I agree, it's the biggest ever. You know, it's you know, it's a lot of students that came out to this that want to know a little bit about their their business and what they want to do within their realm of business. So it really is exciting uh, to see, to say the least. Um, and they have the awesome food too. The food is amazing. Uh, I haven't had a chance to have a bite yet, but we'll be sure to do that for sure. Hey. I'm doing the one hour spectacular, as you remember. I want to see if I can interview you or maybe someone at your table. So we're here with Dr. Welsker, um, my professor right now at Econ. Um, she told us about the expo and, you know, she was surprised to hear about us for GTP podcast. Dr. Welsker, what's the environment like for the SBA Expo for 2020? Um, right now, when we're here, it is energetic. We have a much bigger crowd than we had in the fall. We have almost every single SBA faculty member in attendance. People are here. People are willing to help. If you missed it, you really missed out. Yes. I do agree. Of course, you missed out. Of course, for sure, if you're not here. I talked to Dr. Peppers earlier, and it's like she said, it, we're, we're family. So I do agree with that. So I'm going to throw out a statement for you. SBA Expo 2020, the biggest ever. We've seen the line up uh, coming here along do you agree with that statement? Do you disagree? What are, what are your opinions on that? I, I don't want to comment on attendance because I have not seen the numbers. What I do know is that every semester these events are getting bigger in terms of the number of organizations that participate, right. the number of student clubs that are represented, the number of other agencies on campus that are represented. So um, attendance, I don't know, but definitely in terms of resources available at your disposal, this is by far the largest one that we've seen yet. All right. The next and last question, of course, you know, I'm seeing a whole lot of professors that I'm taking currently now and I've had in the past. What's the anticipation like for getting prepared for this expo today? As faculty, we know that the ex, you know the SBA Expo is coming. This is actually the first semester that we've called it our Expo. Okay. We previously had Meet the SBA, and we realized that you know maybe that seemed more like it was for freshmen as opposed to our current students. We want to make sure that all of our students, freshmen through seniors, are aware that there is something for them at, at this event. So in terms of what we do, you know, we know about it as, as early as the fall, but we are really pushed. The same way that students are sent emails, faculty get emails. You've got faculty that are offering extra credit. You've got faculty that are handing out flyers. Um, our goal is to get as many of our SBA students through that door. And so, yeah, most of it just has to do with how do we market the event. You know, you've got tables that are offering, you know, little goodie bags. Um, over yes. at the econ table, you could win a lunch with an economist. Yes, and you mentioned that in class, so yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot of things that we're doing to really um, encourage attendance. So if you missed it this semester, um, I can't tell you the exact date, but mark your calendar. It'll be within the first month of school, back when we come in August. Okay. We'll okay. have the SBA Expo Fall Edition then. All right. Maybe we can do another uh, podcast, an hour podcast for the School of Business. Thank you, Dr. Wesker, for coming on this podcast. We'll see you in class. <laughs> so, of course, Dr. Wesker representing the econ table. Uh, current professor now, so that's uh, that's always a cool moment. Now we move on next to the accounting table. I'm going to try to see if I can get some interview for sure. Um, one professor, Dr. McCarran, I've had before. And uh, one professor I do see, she slept in for Dr. McCarran at one point. So I'm going to try to see if I can get a word in for sure. Like Dr. Wesker has said previously, of course, this is a, a huge event. And if you're in the School of Business and you miss out on this event, you know, they're going to have it again in, in August. So this is one event you do not want to miss.
Hey, how are you? I'm fine. Good, I'm good. Fine. My name's Kennedy Patterson. I'm the host of our GGC podcast we have here on campus. Oh, okay. So we're not we're not live. We're recording a one hour spectacular episode uh, for the expo, and I want to see if I can interview your whole table. If you if you don't mind, if not, that's oh, perfectly yeah. fine. Yeah, absolutely. Hi, how are you? Yes. Kennedy Patterson. I'm the host of our podcast. Kennedy. Kennedy. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, absolutely. Can there be three questions that I'm asking? Okay. Can Dr. McCreary? Okay. I do see uh, Dr. McCarran there. I took her before in that county. Yes. So for sure. Um, yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it's really cool to see professors around because there's a professors that I took before and. I'm going around and interviewing. I was like, hey, I remember you this semester. So it's cool. I like it. So you already finished at um, EGC? No, I got one year left. One I'm year a senior. Left. Mm -hmm. Okay. One well, year left. This is what I want you to do. Yeah, absolutely. When you shake, I want you to be real firm. Okay. So like I don't want you to sit okay. right here. Yeah, All like right. Not, yeah, not to hurt anybody. Yeah, absolutely. Just, I want you to handle these three people here. Okay, absolutely. Right. Hi, how are you? Thanks. I'm Katie Patterson. Hi. I'm the... Nice to meet you. The host of our GGC podcast. We're doing a one-hour spectacular uh, for the podcast. I'll ask you three questions, not hard questions. What's the environment like? Um, I'll throw out a statement. SBA Expo 2020, uh, the biggest ever. Do you agree? Do you disagree? And as we see a lot of professors, I'll ask, you know, um, what's the anticipation like for professors to get prepared for this event? And that's it. All right. Hi, Dr. McCarran. How are you? Good, good. So we're here now with, of course, at the accounting table with the School of Business. Uh, one professor I've had before, Dr. McCarran, and I met two lovely uh, other professors here today. The question, uh, first question I have, uh, the anticipation like for professors getting prepared for this event. Absolutely. A uh, statement that I want to throw out for you, of course, as I wait in line to get inside the Elba Center, SBA Expo 2020, the biggest ever. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Okay. It looks like we've got a lot more students, a lot of faculty here to support it. Uh -huh. So I think it's a good event. Absolutely. Good Good. And the last question, of course, um, you know, the environment like, what's the environment like for the whole event? What do you see that's going on right now? Uh, I talked to Dr. Peppers before. She said it looks like a family that's in one room. Do you agree with that statement? What's your, what's your, your, your opinion on the environment? It definitely is a collegial environment, a lot of excitement, students learning about various careers, and we're even drawing in some students um, who aren't school of business students. So it's a good event. Uh, now we're just being shared. People are learning, especially in accounting, people are learning about the vast opportunities that are available in the accounting field. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad to be here, and, and I'm thankful that it seems like a family environment. It's definitely uh -huh. collegial and warm, and people are learning. So that's what it's all about. Alrighty. Thank you so much for, of course, being on the podcast. We'll be sure to, of course, email every professor letting them know the podcast is out. As soon as I do some editing and uh, edit it up for you guys. Thank you, ladies, so much. Appreciate it, all. Thank you. That was the accounting table. Uh, I am not. I'm not. I was trying to learn how did you get this um, podcast of doing the podcast. Oh, well, it all started in 2019. Um, I thought to myself, uh, GGC was missing something in the form of media. So me being a business major, of course, but a concentration in marketing, I thought, why don't we do podcasting? Because GGC never had that before. So, um, of course, I made it an RSO. Um, we've got, right now, Instagram is booming. Over 1,000, 1,600, actually, followers on Instagram. Our downloads and playlists. You started with your organization that you started? Yes. Um, we're streaming on Spotify, Our Heart, Pandora, 
big major platforms. Um, I met with Dr. Andrews, uh, exercise science um, professor. He wants to start a radio station, so he commanded me to be the president of that, so that way GDC can have an official radio station. So us being a bigger, uh, being a great school that's growing into media, uh, this is something that's needed. So yeah, so um, that's kind of how I started. I do podcasting on the side on my personal shows, but I wanted to bring that to GDC. So it's something fun for me to do senior year. So thank you. <laughs> have a good one, everybody. Yeah, I'm afraid it's a handshake too. I like that. A little stronger. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like, yeah, you don't want to. See. Okay, I'll, I'll work on that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Excuse me. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. So we have, of course, Alpha. I am going to try to get an interview, of course, with Alpha. See, it's a learning curve. It's a learning opportunity curve. So, I, I'm trying to figure out... Ooh. Yeah, okay, that is Alpha. You see, of course, Brandon Gomez for the Alpha team. Hey! <laughs> So you guys know where we're here. Um, we're doing a one-hour spectacular, of course. We have Alpha, Brandon Gomez, no stranger to us. Yes. Explain to me, what's the environment like for today's SBA Expo? Oh, it's awesome, man. Uh, we have the students coming out. Um, a lot of them are already business majors. They're either sophomores or uh, freshmen. We're just out here um, trying to give them a little bit more information. It's cool to have these uh, young people already trying to get a head start on their careers, and that's what uh, we're all about here at Alpha, trying to get um, students ready for life after college, trying to get them set up with jobs, interviews. Mm -hmm. um, it'd be awesome uh, to have more members join the team, and we'd love to maybe have a sit down with you. Yes, absolutely. Uh, That's going to happen. Awesome. Yeah, thank <laughs> you so much. That has to happen. <laughs> so, I'm going to throw a statement out there. I think you've heard this kind of statement before when we did the involvement fair, but the SBA Expo 2020. Based off the line that we we waited to get in here, the biggest ever. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Oh yeah. Um. So us at Alpha, we've been at every single SBA Expo for the past three or four years. Um. It's really, really awesome to see how much it's grown. Before mm -hmm. we've only had maybe like two concentrations, one club. Mm -hmm. But now we have six, seven clubs. Yes. A lot of them starting out new this year. Mm -hmm. We have the new supply chain management concentration. Yes. Last semester we started with ten students. Now we're having over a hundred students join that. Um. Those uh, there's big things going on at GDC, big things going on in the school of business. <laughs> I like that. Big things are happening. I, I like that. The last question, of course. Um, I'm seeing a lot of professors that I'm taking currently or I've took in the past. What do you think their anticipation is like when they're forming this event, seeing present students, past students? What do you think their anticipation is like? I think that um, it's cool for professors to come out and see that um, us. I have professors that I had two years ago, and they're coming up to me, mm -hmm. you know, saying this is such a great event. They love seeing the students out here. That's what teaching is all about. Um, eventually, I want to go into, into the professor, right. um, and you know, I'm gonna be cool to have students come up to me and say, because of you, this happened. Because of you, this happened. I th um, professors love being out here. They love giving back. Um, they love it. Yeah. Great. Absolutely. Thank you, Brandon. Again, Alpha, no stranger to GTP Grizzly Club podcast. We'll get that podcast together for sure for you, Brandon. Have a good one. All right, that was Alpha. Again, they're no strangers to us. They, they've been with us, interviewed on their podcast before. As I shift gears here, there's different, more tables coming up. Uh, you have the Center of Emerging Business and Entrepreneurship. That's something different. I've never seen that before. Of course, you got Dr. Harley, another professor that I've had summer, this past summer, give or take. I'm going to try to see if I can get a quick interview. Participation is still hot here, of course. A lot of students are still out to this event. I do see the food. The food is all gone. <laughs> the cookies and the 
the roll, the tuna roll, I want to say it is. That's cool in business. A lot of students came out to this event though, ladies and gentlemen, and I and I want to thank the GGC community for allowing Grizzly Talk Podcast for coming on this podcast. Of course I'll do a formal closing later, but you know, it really is an awesome time to come out and see professors that that are very eager within the School of Business. And it really is amazing, uh, to say the least. I do see a good friend, of course, uh, for sure. No, you're fine, you're fine. You got the SBA alumni that's here. You have Aliyah Muhammad that's running that table. She is alumni, fellow RA, fellow student. She actually mentored me within my, you know, RA days. For short. I'm gonna sneak on over here to the SBA alumni. See if I can get a quick word. For sure. I'm doing a podcast. Awesome. Yeah, well, GGC got their podcast. Do you do? Oh, really? Yeah, we do. Oh, you the Kenny head of I'm Matt. Matt, nice to meet you. I graduated you. in 18. 18, yeah, okay. Man. All right. Yeah, we started a podcast here uh, for um, GGC. That's awesome. So, essentially, I'm talking to no one, but I'll be talking well, to GGC. I figured you're either vlogging or doing something because yeah. I saw the microphone. <laughs> yeah. I was just curious why I asked. Yeah, I did. I see. I, back when I first started, I was a little nervous because when I first started, I was like, like, what, what is he doing? Okay. <laughs> but I got used to it. I was like, you, no, it's a podcast. You see the, the YouTubers making millions of dollars they do. doing this, so they do. This is gonna lead to some of the big. So yeah, good. They care what they're saying. Thank you. I, I tell that to most people. So I'm, I'm at the verge of kind of doing content myself. Just okay. My job and kind of how I incorporate stuff like that. Yeah. So uh, yeah, absolutely. absolutely, absolutely. Are you a student here? I'm a student. Awesome. Senior. Cool. Are you almost done? Almost done. December 2020. Are you excited? I'm, I'm you can excited. see the light, man. <laughs> I'm so excited. Do you have any uh, jobs lined up? From well, Florida? I work for Marriott International. Oh, wow. So that's my big boy so that's kind of you, job. You already have that job. So I kind of do. Um, there's opportunities to grow in that market. Uh, I am a marketing major, so I do want to work within the marketing Have you taken an answer bits? Yes, I have. I awesome. love it. I'm taking them now, actually, Are you? for... Um, marketing research. Coolest teacher I've ever had. My yeah. I've been to five colleges, man. Uh-huh. Coolest teacher I've ever been to. My yep. I, promotions was fun. I loved him in promotions. He's, so now he's we're doing. A good guy. Yeah. Very successful. In the very business. successful. You don't kind of have that. Very successful. So. But yeah, good, good network, network, network. Yes. Very important, man. Yeah. I'm a, I got some business cards. That's what got me my role. Really? Yeah. Okay. Are you on LinkedIn? I'm on LinkedIn. Perfect. I am. Yeah, I'll find you. Yeah. Oh, you work for T-Mobile? Yeah, I'm an account executive. Ooh, okay. I, I'm here with his alumni. So yeah, I'm talking okay. to students and everybody. Okay. Letting them know kind of keys to success to get a big boy job or big girl job right. in order to uh, be successful. Okay, like, absolutely. I will find you sure. on LinkedIn. And if you ever sure. want to do a podcast about maybe successes of network or anything like that, right. email me Ooh, okay, uh, or on yeah. LinkedIn. Uh, That'll be so good, yeah. GGC is, is a great school, like I said, I've been to many. Uh, because of this school and the network and just yes. things, I got the position and career I needed. So okay. I come back and I help out and okay. stuff like that, man. All right, absolutely. I will do that. I will do that. Yeah. You said you were a Marine. I will. You were too? Right. Right. How long were you in for? 22 years. Ah, you took a long time. What did you get? Oh, no. you get out? 2015. Okay. Are you, are you just in school now? Good to see Matt May. Of course, he's accounting executive for T-Mobile. That's pretty cool. That's, I mean, that's amazing. GGC is able to uh, find their their way out there. After GGC, he's working for T-Mobile. That's the power of the school of business. I mean, T-Mobile is a huge company to work for. I mean, what more can you ask for? But I really recommend it for sure. How are you? Good.
really like it though. Professors, they have business cards too. They're giving out a lot of business cards here for that. And it really is amazing. see Dr. Torres is in the building. That's my professor right now for for business, of course. But we are uh, going on there for sure. You really see that. So I, I do the podcast here with GGC. Um, it's up and coming. It's, it's blowing up. We're doing a one-hour spectacular. We're recording, and uh, I want to see if I can get an interview with you, if that's possible. All righty. So we're here with Dr. Hartley. Of course, I took him summer this past summer with marketing. Great professor for sure. Dr. Hartley, how are you today? Doing fine, thanks. Good, 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 good. Now, of course, we're here at SBA Expo. Uh, it's a big event. Um, there, I'm going to throw out a statement for you, of course. The SBA 2020, the Expo 2020, the biggest ever. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Uh, I have to say yes. I think that uh, we've got a great representation here from the different concentrations uh -huh. as well as a lot of different student organizations and our centers that the, the SBA has developed over the last few years. Uh -huh. um, so we're doing a lot of good things and I, I think that the results, the turnout reflects that. So. Absolutely. What's the anticipation uh, for all professors out, out there? I mentioned before in the podcast before, I'm seeing a lot of professors that I took previously and that I'm taking now. What's that? What's the anticipation like for professors getting ready for this event? Uh, well, it's, it's not that difficult, I'll be honest, because <laughs> we're all doing a lot of things to try to sort of build more ties with the students and uh, Today's event really doesn't require us to, to prepare ourselves because we, we already know what we're doing. <laughs> we're already engaging with the students, and, and today is just about making sure that students know what we're doing. Okay, absolutely. Uh, great turnout for you. I do see your table. Great turnout for your table, Dr. Harley. Thank you for coming on the podcast, sir. Okay, thank All you. Right, have a good one. You too. Of course, Dr. Hartley, of course, the Center of Emerging Business and Entrepreneurship. I like that. The C-E-B-E. C-E-B-E. Now, they do have a photo booth that's down here. That photo booth is amazing. Uh, you have deans that are perfecting that photo booth for sure. I see Malik. <laughs> Malik. You, we're good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Good. I have a question for you once you finish your podcast. Okay. Um, I got to go to SGA after this. Okay. Do you want to text, text me or email me? One of the two. Because I got a new phone. So yeah, okay. I got a new number too, actually. Uh, Patterson. P A T T E R S B A. So that's. Um, Six seven eight four two seven five two three eight. Yeah, that's me. Yes, because I have some good news for you, and there's some things I wanted to talk to you about. Okay, but I know your your podcast is okay. Are, are, are they good news? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like good news. All right, yeah. Shoot me a text. All right. All right. So as I go down here for the anticipation here for sure. There's a lot of professors, like I mentioned before, that's out here doing their thing. You have the Center of International Business and Exchange. As we have professors here, the MIS, MIS. How are you? Hi. Good. I wanted to ask you a question. Yes. So I know someone talked to you from Gear okay. about coming into the podcast. Uh, yeah. Um, Dr. Wesker mentioned it in class that? today. All right. Yeah. So I was wondering while you're here, if yeah. you can put our Instagram out there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah? Oh, absolutely. Cool. Yeah, give me so all of that. This is 
at this at GGC Gear 2020. Gear 2020. Okay, yeah, yeah I have we you. do immediate follow back. So okay, yeah, so I'll do that. Here's what I can do for you. I can do like a we do what we call GTV Spotlight. Yeah, it's a minute on Instagram because you know Instagram you can do a minute video. Right. I will do a um, a GTV Spotlight for you guys. Awesome. Um, and also with this, uh, I do present it by whoever's going to present it. So I'll give you guys present it by S- uh, SBA Gear yeah. and then it will lead on to the podcast. So I'll do yeah, that for awesome. you. I'll Thank do that you. for and you. And then we'll give you, we'll talk to you about yeah, absolutely. coming like coming the official of the podcast. Yeah, I understand. Thank a lot you. of people are on schedule so I get it. Yeah. I get it. Okay. Yeah, so I'll do that. Do you yeah. have a card? Or like um, so I do not have my cards on me right. but I have email so it's, you know, kpatterson2 at have, GGC. Uh, well, do you follow? Huh? I have organization behavior with you. Okay. Oh, with um, uh, Dr. B. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when I see there, I ask. Yeah, absolutely, part. absolutely. Do you follow Grizzly Talk Podcast? Yes. Yeah, you can direct message us there. I, oh, I see it. Okay. All right. Yeah, Thank I got you. you. <laughs> hey, how are you? Good. My name is Kennedy Patterson. I'm the host of our GG, um, GGC podcast called Grizzly Talk Podcast. Okay. We're filming, recording. A um, one hour spectacular of the Expo, and I want to see if I can interview each table. I have professors that are nervous about this. Um, all right, back in record, one hour and one minute. So, we're here with the marketing concentration table with Dr. Schaller, Dr. Torres. Um, we've been, I've had Dr. Schaller previously this past fall, Dr. Torres, I'm taking right now for organization behavior. What's the environment like with this year's Expo? It's a lot of fun. People are learning a lot. The students have great questions about the concentrations, and we're trying to help them navigate and figure out what concentration is right for them. All right. Sir? There's also a lot of registered student organizations, clubs, so students are um, going over all the tables and finding out opportunities that they are available. Absolutely. So I'm going to throw out a statement for you. Of course, SBA Expo 2020, based off the line that was outside getting ready for this event, is this the biggest event ever? Has every year been the same? Do you agree or do you disagree? This seems like we have some really good attendance this year and probably bigger than last year. And we've been talking to a steady flow of students. So we like to see the increased interest. Absolutely. Yeah, I didn't see the line, but, <laughs> but there's a lot of interest, a lot of students are visiting us. Absolutely. My last question. I'm seeing professors that I take previously, of course, in the past, and now I'm taking now. What's the anticipation like for the professors to get prepared for this event to see uh, current students and past students that they've had? So today I was teaching classes, and I encourage my students to come to the event. So we really like to get the word out and try and get our current students um, to attend and maybe even offer some incentives, like bonus points for attending. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. So, and then once they're here, they, they learn a lot. Yeah, it's absolutely. Win-win. win-win. I like that. Yeah, sure. I agree. I also mentioned that in my classes. Didn't offer, offer any bonus points or extra credit, but that's something I can consider next time around because it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And I think uh, there's always something that students can learn when they come to some of these events. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. So, marketing concentration, of course, they've had a table here. And as we're going to kind of close it up here, we have the management management table. I'm going to see if I can possibly get a word with management as this becomes the last table. How are you? Becomes the last table for the expo. For sure. Let me see if I can get quite a few words for you uh, from management. For sure. Hello, sir. How are you? I am well. Hi. How are you, sir? Good, good. My name is Kennedy Patterson. I'm the okay. host for the GGC podcast that we're doing here on campus. All right. We're filming a special episode today. It's the one hour spectacular of the Expo. Going around different tents at screen tables with different uh, questions. There's going to be three questions. I want to see if I can interview you. Yes, sir. All right. to do it. Absolutely. So uh, before we start, uh, three questions. Of course, first question will be the environment like for Expo for this year. Second question will be um, uh, Expo 2020 based off the line outside. Is this the biggest Expo we've had? Have it been the same? Do you agree or disagree? Okay. Third question will be uh, as professors, because I do see a lot of professors that I took previously, what's the anticipation like for professors to get ready for this event? What was the what? The what's the uh, anticipation for professors to get prepared for the event? Got it. Okay. Didn't miss it. <laughs> That's pretty easy. I can handle that. So we're here, of course. Um, 
For another table here, representing management, of course, sir. How are you doing today? I am doing well. Thank good. you for asking. Good, good. Now, the first question, of course, the SBA Expo this year. What's the environment like for you, sir? Yep. I think the environment is excellent. This is one of the events that we try to do each year. Mm -hmm. This is the first year that we've actually called it an expo mm -hmm. and increased the level of energy and activity. Right. And I think the participation has increased greatly, and the students seem to be getting a lot more, um, not only a joy out of it, but also information. Absolutely. Um, so I'm going to throw out a statement for you, sir. Okay. Um, S SBA Expo 2020. Based off the line that that was outside getting ready for this event, SBA being the biggest event, do you agree or do you disagree? I agree. You agree? And the last question, real quickly, like. I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who helped put this together. Thank you all for coming. This was an event that required many, many hands. Uh, in particular, I want to thank Ben Hines, uh, because without Ben Hines... <laughs> Uh, this sort of event happen in the future. Please get in touch with Ben Hines. Uh, it's a great group of students who really act as their ambassadors to the GBC community. Uh, they make huge help. Um, so please do take advantage of that opportunity. Again, thank you for coming. We're going to do this every January and August. So if you want more free food, uh, you just have to hold out for like seven months. <laughs> yeah. One more. But, uh, but we've got the room for another 10 minutes. Feel free to eat. Uh, there's no more food left. Feel free to yeah. spin for candy. Uh, and, and thank you again very much for coming. Have a great semester. Yes. Last question. Sorry yes, sir. about that, sir. That's all right. Uh, what's fault. the anticipation like? I see a lot of professors that I took currently or I took in the past. What's the anticipation like for professors getting prepared for this event? Yep. I think the thing that we want to do most is just connect with the students and to let them know that we're here for them and that we're um, trying to make ourselves available when they're taking our classes, but also to let them know that we're available to them outside of the classroom. And I think the anticipation is a lot of excitement just to be able to share knowledge with current business students, but also for those students who are undecided that may be considering business and just making sure that we have the information to share with them that can help them progress uh, towards their degree. Absolutely. Thank you so much, right. sir, for Thank coming you, on sir. the podcast. All right. So, again, ladies and gentlemen, the XB, SBA Expo 2020 has been a great success. A lot of students came up for this event. A lot of people have lined up for this grand event in the Opus Center. I was able to talk to many, many professors that I took previously that I'm taking now. It really is amazing to say the least, and it really is. Uh, I wanna thank, of course, the School of Business for allowing GTP, Grizzly Talk Podcast, to come on the podcast. I wanna thank, of course, Mr. Ben Hines for letting me come on the podcast and broadcast. And I wanna thank all the professors that I've interviewed that weren't microphone shy and they were able to come on this podcast uh, for those professors that I took that in before and I'm taking now. We greatly, greatly appreciate you guys being on Grizzly Talk Podcast. So that's going to do it for the SBA Expo 2020, the one hour spectacular. And we'll be sure to hear you guys in the next podcast. Until then, I'm Kennedy Patterson. Go Grizzlies.